Hey, welcome to Late Night Cooking at the Grizz His. I'm sure, like me, some of you are having like a weird Thanksgiving or like you're not getting together, you know, how you usually do or whatever. Well, that's the case. And so I am making some things that I don't generally make because my cousin and aunt and my mom, they usually take over. But I put on my big girl panties and we gonna get cooking. Oh, oh, what am I making? Only the best green bean casserole in the universe. This ain't your grandma's green bean casserole, okay? This is my grandma's green bean casserole. This is her. Piece of my heart right there. That's my Grammy. She made that dress, by the way, that's me. I know, God, I'm so cute. It is, uh, it's ridiculous. These green beans and my grandmother are so important to our family that we even had like a keepsake cutting board with the recipe on it. But I can't share with you because it's, it, I, I'm pretty sure it's an heirloom. I need a cup. Can't find my cup because it's in my son's uh, crib. You don't keep measuring cups in your kid's cribs? He was playing with it. I did make these not long ago, like a few years ago. The recipe says to melt a stick of butter and then, you know, you put the crushed cornflakes in there. And I was like, uh, I'm gonna skip that stuff because that's a lot of butter. And guess what? It didn't taste good. I ain't skipping that stuff tonight. Can you get carpal tunnel from opening green bean cans? And Grammy used to make this entire Thanksgiving meal all by herself. Like every single dish. It just took me like 20 minutes to open eight green bean cans. We're only gonna have eight people here tomorrow, but this is how many beans I'm making. Because they're that good. Also, I, uh, didn't have the recipe and I probably should have, so. My darling, I hunger, hunger for your tub. Oh. There's that one cup. Could have used that earlier. If these don't taste good tomorrow, like essentially Thanksgiving is ruined. The amount of cheese and sour cream that went into these, it's going to be amazing. So the only thing left to do is find room in my fridge for those two bad boys. But luckily, my husband is very gifted in this arena. I have a very particular set of skills. <laughs> he ain't lying. Mm -hmm. 